The 2019 attack that robbed Rochester police officer Denny Wright of his eyesight severely damaged the optic nerves in both eyes. With that in mind, I sought out a doctor on the cutting edge of research in this field to find out where we stand with any possible treatment here. I found Dr. Larry Benowitz at Boston Children's Hospital. He and his team have made huge discoveries when it comes to optic nerve regeneration. Here's some of what we talked about. The optic nerve turns out to be a great um, example of a central nervous system pathway, um, which normally does not show any capacity to regenerate, but there have been breakthroughs in my lab and others uh, in getting it to regenerate. And part of the motivation for studying regeneration of the optic nerve is the hope that things that are learned in that system can be carried over to the spinal cord and other parts of the uh, of the central nervous system and uh, in fact that has proven to be the case so while none of these findings are yet in clinical practice um, there have been discoveries um, that uh, have carried over um, to enable at least in animal models some degree of regeneration do you foresee treatment coming from something like this that's the hope, of course. Um, I should say that uh, work from um, our lab and others um, have pointed to a number of ways to get retinal ganglion cells to regenerate axons for considerable distances. Now, all the way down the full length of the optic nerve in animal models and into the, uh, the relay areas of the brain that then um, relay these signals up to the cortex and to other uh, centers for, for higher level processing or for visually guided behaviors. Um, so that's a little bit, and it's it's a, um, a glimmer of hope, but we're still pretty far from having uh, sufficient regeneration to support what, you know, what any of us would recognize as uh, substantial levels of vision. I'm going to ask you to take your crystal ball out, though, and when you say it'll take some time, what is the time frame, your best guess? Well, I would say maybe 10 years we'll have satisfactory levels of regeneration um, if we don't discover other um, insuperable barriers at the end of the day we're talking about life-changing potentially life-changing yeah. treatment for people we had officer right here who in the course of his job lost complete eyesight and the fact that within his lifetime he may be able to see something again to me is just extraordinary yeah, well, you know, vision is the the sense that we most use to interact with the outside world. So uh, if this were to succeed, you're right, it, it could be life changing. With that, we'd like to wish Officer Wright well. By the way, Dr. Benowitz also touched on other avenues of research in this area that might move faster, like devices outside the body that capture images and send them to the brain. He also got into stem cell research a little bit. You can learn more about all of that. We're going to have the whole interview up at rochesterfirst.com.